For every five people that I've met since I've been a contestant, three of them will ask me, why did you choose to enter Miss World Canada? And the answer is really simple. I'm just one of many young Canadian women who want to do good. MWC stood out to me because it's not just about looking good, which, don't get me wrong, is great fun. It's also about finding something within yourself to give to others and feeling good about doing that. One of the gifts Miss World Canada has given me is introducing me to Variety, the children's charity. Because I express my feelings most poignantly in writing, I chose to do my variety fundraising primarily through that medium. I'm canvassing the iconic Canadian companies for donations, you know, the companies you immediately think of when you think of Canada and Canadian brands. I'm appealing to the sense of social responsibility and patriotism that I know has been ingrained in all things Canadian from the level of the working individual all the way up to the big corporation. Uh, I've requested the support of four Canadian artists who inspired my talent performance. Uh, I've sought the support of the people I know, who I think share my desire to do good in some small way. Some members of that last group are scattered just about everywhere outside of Canada, so asking them for support means that my fundraising campaign has gone international. And with every pledge that I get from someone outside of Canada, I'm really amazed to see that compassion has no borders. The philanthropic part of the pageant is so powerful that I'm guilty of dedicating myself to it, my energy to it, at the expense of other areas of the competition. I've asked for more donations for variety than I've asked for votes for the People's Choice Award. I withdrew all my requests for corporate sponsorship and encouraged those companies to donate to Variety instead. And in making that last decision, I'm grateful to have had the support of my stepfather's company, Mountaintop Natural Spring Water, which is my official sponsor. The reason that I've had such a visceral reaction to the good works that Variety does, the reason that I'm moved by it and that I'm able to move others to support it is because of my experience of compassion, my knowledge of how to be sympathetic, how to be empathetic, my awareness of what it's like to face a challenge in your life. And of course, not all of these experiences are mine personally. I learned about a lot of them, about the full range of human emotions and human experience through reading. And that's the beauty of literature. Everything that has ever been seen or felt or endured or thought and then got translated into words becomes yours. It becomes a part of you if you let it and it helps you relate to others and understand them and lend yourself to helping them because you have a window into what it's like to be them. The reading experience that I remember most vividly and that still resonates with me today is one that happened on a day that my mom had an emergency and she left me with my uncle who of course was too busy tinkering with his cars and his dirt bikes to entertain me. So I pulled out a book I had brought with me and I ended up reading the entire thing in that one day. And when my mom came back, she was so apologetic and she said, weren't you bored? And I said, no, I've been to Germany, I've been through a war, I've made friends, I've lost loved ones. And she looked at me like I was crazy until I pulled out the book I had brought and she understood. I was eight when we had that conversation and since then my passion for reading and writing has developed into something of a personal devotion. And as I wrote more and I read more, that personal devotion evolved outwards and it stopped being something that I did from me and for me. And it became something that I knew I could share with others. And when I realized that, I started wanting to bring as many people into it as I could. And by the time I was invited to join Miss World Canada for 2012, my personal devotion had become my humanitarian goal.
This month I joined the volunteering team at Tropicana Community Center. So every Saturday I tutor a group of elementary school children in English and in math. And this past Saturday I was with a group of grade two boys. I introduced them to the Japanese poetry form haiku and with some guidance almost all of them came up with a haiku that they could put their name on and call their own by the end of the class. The most charming one though, our masterpiece that we did all together as a class, was called Frogs with Flies. I guess boys will be boys. I also read them a short story from the short story and poetry collection that I wrote when I was seven. It's called The Magic of Dreams and it's about a child with special needs who can't access literature through reading but finds it through dreaming. My protagonist, his name is Neil, doesn't allow his challenges to keep him from enjoying books. He connects with everything that literature has to offer through his imagination or the magic of dreams. The Tropicana boys responded very well to this story and I hope that the themes it brought out will help them appreciate their own opportunities to acquire knowledge relatively unencumbered. If they can only take one idea away from it though, my wish is that sharing Neil's experience contributes to their capacity to show some compassion should they ever encounter a child who faces similar challenges. I left them with some pocket-sized notebooks that they can make their scribbles in. Um, and maybe, like me, those scribbles will get them started on the path to writing, and who knows where it could take them from there. My volunteering and variety fundraising won't end when the pageant does. I've made a decision to continue. Because the themes in The Magic of Dreams relate so well to the experiences of some of the children that Variety helps, I'd like to market the story after the pageant and donate the proceeds in a personal pledge.